All right, so back to the truck. Um, Got to get that front drive shaft disconnected at the diff end and then get all the bolts pulled out of the diff, get the cable unhooked for the um, actuator for the locker for the front and pluck the U-bolts. And we should be able to drop the housing out of from there and then uh, we'll get the other housing fit up in there. And we got to, uh, once we kind of get things put together, we'll figure out, determine um, shock mounting tabs and um, we got to mount uh, and figure out for the hydro assist cylinder again. So yeah, should be fun. It's back to plugging away. Um, it is Sunday and I'm trying to leave with it Friday after work to go to Drummond Island. So hopefully we can get her done. So I had the centers of my Dirty Life wheels machined out so that the wheel can bolt directly on now without a, the use of a spacer. If you look at pictures from before, the rim had an inch and a half spacer on it so that lockout could fit behind the smaller hole that was in the middle of the wheel. Um, so I had my machinist buddy knock the centers of them out a little bit. He chamfered the edge real nice. Um, now we gotta get them blasted and powder coated. Unfortunately, Everybody is too far behind to get that done before I need to use it for Drummond Island this weekend. So I'm going to have to take the wheels, mount them up, and then dismount them again. But on this one that's gold without the thing in it, you can kind of see how we rolled that edge. Real nice. So it'll look good. Get them all, get them all cleaned up and blasted and coated. But um, you can kind of see this one, the one that I started to do, the tried to do, three hours later. And I got one done and just the face, like not the whole wheel, not the back, nothing else. So yeah, they're going to go to a professional. Sometimes it's worth it to just pay to get it done. But for now, spent a bunch of time fighting, um, all kinds of different things. Um, got my front housing back into place and uh, I'm going to try and pick up some tabs tomorrow after work from Jacob over at Off-Road Anonymous so I can get the shock mounts welded on there and get my hydro assist ram mounted back on the top and uh, keep plugging away getting this thing put together hopefully. So guys, um, just a little update. Um, I picked up the Dirty Life wheels about, mm, I don't even remember, maybe four-ish years ago. And um, at the time, I uh, mounted them up and drove them like, I don't even know, it wasn't very long, like a week. And um, I had a pretty good vibration. Um, they were on steel wheels before. Um, I'm running the, the Goodyear MTR Kevlars. Um, 37, 1250, 17. Uh, they had been on a steel wheel before, which was balanced with, you know, hammer on lead weight. And um, so moving over to the Dirty Life wheels, uh, I just mounted them myself on the bead locks and never bothered balancing them. And after driving it for like a week, I had a pretty good shake, pretty good, you know, significant shake in them. And um, did some reading online and um, it's one of those things, you know, where I'm like, Hey, I'm headed off on a trip and I don't have time to order balance beads and will airsoft BBs work, you know, and there's always, everybody's got an opinion, no matter what you're doing. Um, you know, if you look online, you're going to get a thousand opinions, but so I actually picked up these Colt, um, precision airsoft 20 gram BBs and, uh, or 0.20 gram BBs. Anyway, I uh, so I literally took like a <laughs> like um, like a one cup, uh, you know, cooking measuring cup, and dumped them into each of the wheels, and um, that was like I said, at least four years ago. 
Um, I don't even know how many miles I put on it. You know, not probably not a ton, but you know, probably 10,000, 8, 10,000 miles ago. And um, I just wanted to update guys because you know, you always hear like, oh, that'll never work, or oh, that works awesome, you know. And um, I gotta say, I mean, the BBs are all, the airsoft BBs are all still, they're not broken down whatsoever. Um, there's no signs of, um, you know, they haven't done any damage to the tire that I can tell. And uh, they seem to be holding up great. Now, did it get rid of the shake? Mm, yes and no. Um, significantly better. Uh, like, you could drive the truck at 65 miles an hour if you can get it there. If you can get it there. But um, not totally gone. So well, I got them apart again. I think I'm going to add some more BBs because, I mean, if some was good, more is better, right? But anyway, don't be afraid of the Airsoft BBs. I don't know if they all work or if I just got lucky with this brand, but I'm going to have to save four years and 10,000 miles, no signs of deterioration or breakdown. I think the Airsoft BBs are the way to go. All right, so it's been a long couple of days, but with the help of some good buddies, uh, my dad, um, it's on the trailer and ready to go to Drummond Island. So there she is, the new Trail Gear Rock Assault housing. Got the hydro assist brackets welded back into place. Some new tabs we picked up from Off-Road Anonymous welded to uh, hold the shocks on and mount the hydro assist cylinder to the new longer tie rod for the axle that's three inches wider than stock. And the uh, wheels now with the lockout protruding outward because um, we had a machine so that the uh, lockout will fit through the center. Um, because the axle housing's three inches wider, I had to remove my inch and a half per side wheel spacers. So I didn't want the front end any wider because it already just barely fits between the fenders of the car trailer. So that works perfect. Turned out good. While we were in there, um, drilled and tapped a greaser in the front drive shaft uh, so that we can grease that. Um, the stock blue crap that comes on the drive shaft from trail gear the long slip um wears off and then it ends up rattling and stuff so but there we are ready for a trip to drummond island dad and i leave tomorrow after work can't wait